Welcome to Alphabet City. I'm your guide, Aya Zaktar, and you are the pizza-loving audience. Another day, another Note 10 story. The fine folks at Android Police found pictures of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus on the FCC's website. The images were taken down a short while later. Let's take a look at those pictures. They show the dimensions of the phone, as well as the front and back of the Note 10 Plus. The screen is not on, but you can make out a camera sensor on the top of the phone. It looks like the standard headphone jack got the heave-ho. The right side of the phone seems to ditch all buttons. The left side has a volume rocker and another button. Is it for Bixby? Is it power? Is it both? A rumor has popped up that says Samsung will kill the Bixby button. I don't know about that. Also, WinFuture and Ishan Agarwal posted pictures of the Note 10. They are supposedly official marketing images. There's a black model, like in the FCC images. There's also one with a snazzy gradient color, kind of like the Huawei P30 Pro. WinFuture also says the Note 10 will start at 999 euros with 256 gigabytes of storage. Sam Mobile says the Note 10 5G will come with up to one terabyte of internal storage and up to 12 gigs of RAM. For the Note 10 Plus, WinFuture says it would start at 1,149 euros. John Happ News Agency says the Note 10 will be available on August 23rd in South Korea with pre-orders starting on August 9th. The report also says the models for South Korea will be 5G only. 4G and 5G models will be available worldwide. Yonhap has the pricing as 1.2 million won for the smaller one and 1.4 million won for the bigger model. That translates to around 903 euros and 1,054 euros respectively. That doesn't line up exactly with WinFuture, but I think it's safe to say the Note 10 will be pricey. You know, the Note is in a really weird slot these days. It used to be the biggest screen Samsung phone. The Note 10 could have a 6.3 inch screen. The 10 Plus would have a 6.7 inch screen, which is the same size as the Galaxy S10 5G. The Note used to have some experimental features like the edge display. Now the S and the Note lines share a lot of the same design. The Note is just a bit boxier. The Note 10 seems to have only one front facing camera. The S10 Plus and S10 5G have two. So what sets apart the Note from the S? There's the S Pen. The Note 9 updated the stylus with an assignable button and the ability to use the S Pen as a remote. There is the potential for a new version of DeX, Samsung's desktop experience. Samsung registered a trademark for DeX Live. This could be a wireless way to use the Note as a desktop computer. Now, as much as I've enjoyed using a Note as my daily driver, I'm really curious about its future. A foldable Note seems logical to me. If you like drawing or sketching using the S Pen, a larger screen seems like a natural fit. I think in another time, the Galaxy Fold would have been the Note Fold, similar to the Note Edge. But this is now. Samsung experiments on devices that are not the S or the Note. Features graduate up to them now. On to Uptown updates for some rapid fire news. Google has a new social network called Shoelace. It's designed to connect people through in-person activities. It was built by Area 120, a Google workshop for experimental products. Right now, it's limited to New York City, but the goal is to go nationwide. 9 to 5 Google has a picture of the Pixel 4 in public. It is in the case, but you can see the cutouts that give the phone away. Now here's a weird one. Google revamped Google Voice. In other news, Google Voice is not dead. The new version has a cleaner look and easy access to making calls using an on-screen keypad. On to Common Cove. This is the part of the show where we shine a spotlight at the most amazing audience in the world. You fine folks. Last time we talked about the Pixel 4 XL and it potentially using Google's solely radar technology to recognize gestures. Ren says, now I can use my phone and eat Cheetos at the same time with Project Soli. Deviled Ham says, not hype for Pixel 4, very hype about Project Soli's. Baharat says, I would love to see the radar thing in day-to-day -day usage and right now my mind is being exploded by the possibilities. It could help interacting with AR better and I also want to see a whole under display radar that in all sorts of possibilities can change the mobile experience a lot. Thanks to everyone for writing in. If you've enjoyed your stay in Alphabet City, please like and subscribe. I'm Ayaz Zaktar and let's split a pizza. It's here, it's warm, come on over.